Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am packaging up the custom pet keychains that I made in a few studio vlogs ago. I opened up my custom slots for the very first time and made these kind of custom pet keychains. This little boy here is called Dexter, very cute little cat. This one here is for Veronica. Anyway, I thought I would run you through me packaging them up today. I'm creating the packaging and then packaging them up to ship. So I thought that that would be a fun process to go through together so you can see Behind the scenes of how I package up these keychains and also yeah ship them out in the packaging that I do. Okay this is how I'm packaging them to begin with. So I have these heavy duty grip seal bags which I've had for a while now. These are around about two by three inches I think. Really nice thick sturdy little bags and these are just going to protect them from any dust anything like that. Um, if I had a more eco-friendly like packaging already here i would use that but this is what i've got but they're nice and thick like i said good quality ones so they can always be reused so what i've been doing with these is actually just popping the keychain inside making sure that heart goes inside facing forward as well so we can see that and then actually just closing it on the ring of the keychain itself and then just stapling on the inside of the keychain about there this then keeps the keychain up there, stops from any scratches in transit and stuff. So next I want to make header cards for these. That's a piece of card that will go over this keychain at the top and just give a bit more of a design to it. So measuring this, this is one, two, three, four, six centimeters wide. And then I like mine to be around about that big, I'd say, so four centimeters, six by four. That needs to fold in half. So six by eight centimeters is how big my header card is gonna be. And I'm gonna design that on my iPad. Start off with a bit of pink I think and then probably a layer up some colors make it kind of like an ombre I like to do a bit of an ombre oh add a bit of lighter color and then probably a bit of blue in there something like that and then I just blend them together that's almost a bit too much blue I would say so let's bring yeah a bit of pink back in like that I like that. Usually I like to up the saturation. Ooh, not that much. There we go. I will blend it just a little bit more. Perfect. So the halfway point here is what we're going to see on the front. I am just going to go in and get my studio pin and I'm going to write custom pet keychain grid on here so that I can see where the halfway point is on this card. And for the first one, this is Gibson. So I'm just going to quickly write that out like that. And then just go around that. That's kind of how I do all my fonts and stuff on my thumbnails. Just going to add some little sparkle doodles. Then I can just go back in and edit the name. So I'm going to flip it upside down and write what I want to put on the back. So what was it? A custom pet keychain. Handmade from polymer clay. Hand painted. Please handle with care. And then we just want to write sugar shrimp. Okay, there we go. That'll be Gibson's little header card i really really like that so i'm just gonna tilt the text for gibson there i think that'll look better like that so cute and let's tilt that bit i was fine i write on a bit of a wonk there that looks good yeah i like it so now that i've got all the names done i've just imported them into photoshop and I'm just going to quickly resize them all to around about 6.5 centimeters so that they're slightly bigger than the bags themselves. And then I could just position them onto this A4 sheet. So the document size is A4 and I just print from that basically. So just import them, see how I want them like all set out. This is the paper that I'm going to be printing them out on. This is the Inkrite Premium Inkjet Photo Paper and it's kind of like a thick one. It's just kind of like photo paper, but on card. So I'm just going to print those out onto one of these sheets. Can I just take this moment to talk about how much I actually hate printers? Like this took way long to get this to start printing. At least it's actually printing now. Oh well. Oh, it looks pretty. Sweet. 
We got a few little lines in it because I'm running low on ink, but these will be okay. Look at these. Ordinarily, I would use my um, guillotine to cut these out, but considering I've only got five, I'm just gonna hand cut them because um, my guillotine is actually set up downstairs and I thought, I can't be bothered to get that. So I'm just gonna cut these out. My guillotine, I think is originally from Amazon. That's what I usually use, but for now, cut them by hand, it'll be fine. So now I've cut them out, I can fold them in half. There we go. And then just press it down. As you can see, this card is nice, super duper shiny. Can you see, like super glossy? I like glossy finishes, what can I say? So there we go. Handmade from polymer clay, hand painted and glazed in resin. Please handle with care, sugar shrimp. So we need to find Izzy's keychain. There she is, oh, what a cutie patootie. Perfect size them on there, I think. And then I'm just gonna add two staples. Just below that text. Put the second side around there. There we go. Izzy's keychain, look at that. So cute and packaged up, ready to go. As you can see now, all of the little guys are packaged up. In order to pack these up, I've got these boxes here. These are A6 PIP boxes. They're called Pricing in Proportion, which means they go through as a large letter with Royal Mail. I ship with Royal Mail, so when you find out the sizes and stuff of like large letter and small parcels, you can buy PIP boxes and they're actually sized so that they'll fit through either or. So these are PIP to um, the large letter, like I said. So what I like to do here here for various different things is take some of this tissue paper I stopped using tissue paper for a while because I was like oh it's just an unnecessary expense but to be honest it works well like it protects the pieces and it looks good so I think I'm going back to buying more of this this is the very last bit of this color that I have left but I think I'm going to buy this color again because I like the pop of this against the blue I haven't had blue boxes in a while I had light pink ones so yeah going back to this colorway I really really like it fits well with my brand so yeah we'll stick with that then I'm literally just going to put these in there these are going to be absolutely fine they don't need to be bubble wrapped anything like that is going to be overkill because they are really sturdy really chunky pieces and the box is going to protect them as well as their kind of like tissue paper and stuff around it so yeah I'm not bubble wrapping them because they just don't need it they genuinely don't so pop a little bit more tissue paper over it to add a little bit more padding to make sure it's all secure in there seal the box up like this there we go. And then I'm just going to tape it shut with a bit of tape. Sometimes I like to use um, little stickers on here, but today we're just using tape. There we go. So I'm just taping together that edge, and that's all sealed in there. Next up, thank you cards and mailing bags. So for this order here, we had Dexter inside. That one goes out to Veronica. There we go. I pre-written this out, added a little note. Thank you so much for being one of the first people to order my customs. I hope you love them. So we'll put that with that one. What I do like to do here is just cut off any of these tabs because these can sometimes put it over that large letter threshold, which means the postage will literally cost double if you don't cut these little cardboard bits off. Just give them all a snip. There we go. And I'll pop them inside these mailer bags. I have said many times before, these mailer bags are recyclable under the same scheme that recycled um, like carrier bags are for, like the bags of life and also bread bags. Major supermarkets in the UK allow these to be recycled if you put them with them. So you can do that if you wish. But yeah, I just seal that in. Then I go ahead and weigh this just to make sure that the weight's okay and jot that down. I fill out all the customs and buy the shipping label and I literally just stick it on there very very simple the same happens if i have two keychains or two items in the same box so again just going in with the tissue paper fluffing that out then instead of just popping it in the middle what i'm gonna do is put them this way so this order here had gibson and mowgli look at that they fit in there really well and like i said these are the a6 size boxes then i just pop some more tissue paper on top like that just to act as the padding as the buffer and again i just seal that in and i'll just take that edge down if i have loads of little bits of tissue paper like this i just pull them out because they do look a bit straggly you don't need that much hanging out and then i just take that down stick it in a mailing bag with the thank you card 
and then do all the rest as well. I won't put that on here because I don't want to show people's addresses, but it really is as simple as I sort out on the Royal Mail website, enter all the details, put in the custom stuff, and then I just print it out on my label printer, stick it on the pink melon bag. Really is as simple as that. Okay, so there we go, there's the very last one there, the last two. This one here was for Taylor. So like I said, I do need to weigh these, put the shipping labels on and then they will be good to go. So I do wanna say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who ordered the custom pet keychains for my first ever slots. I have reopened the slots on my Etsy store now. So if you want to order one yourself and get a little package like this in the mail, then you know where to look. The link to everything like that will be down in the description. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you if you're looking to package up things, if you're looking to see how I do it, if you're looking for some packaging inspiration in general then yeah hopefully this helped for that i'm gonna keep this video short and sweet get back to my studio vlog now so hopefully you have enjoyed today's little segue and i'll be back very soon with another video i am very sure so yeah i'll see you then bye